Greetings everyone, Louie Farm Guy here with new mod test for Thursday, July the 7th, and we have one that was actually slated for release on the 6th, however, it didn't show up until today, but here we are, a little bit of a surprise mod, the semi-trailer by Pepe978. It was originally on PC only, but now it's here for console. And for uh, those of you who are on console, it is six slots. This is for all platforms now. 9.94 .9 megabytes download. It is one trailer. These are the three different configurations uh, that you can have with this trailer. Does it have a... Oh, it has a hitch. We're going to try that out too. Now, first of all, where do we find it? We'll find it here under trailers. Now, the description says it's from a 60s Italian uh, manufacturer or style trailer. And for me, it's quite a ways to the end. There it is. Semi-trailer, Lizard semi-trailer, $26,000. Very cheap. Up to 45,000 liters and holds all of those things. And as I said, six slots on console. We have uh, here the configurations, the 23,000 liter uh uh, capacity. We have the extension up to 45,000 liters for only $30,000. Now that's significant because usually uh, a trailer's cost uh, either uh, $1,000 per th a dollar per liter or 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 more. So typically a 45,000 liter trailer would cost about 45 to $50,000 thereabout. So this is actually a, a deal. And then, of course, we have the bale trailer, which is the same trailer, basically, without any of the sides, just the stanchions there. And then an option for the license plate, either the agricultural type of plate, like so, or the standard map plate, whichever map you're on. And then colors, we do have a few color choices, blue, uh, flame red, along with the standard red, green, Gray fog, which is actually a very nice uh, beige color, and gray, which is also nice. And that's it for options. So a uh, very simple, basic trailer. Very nice. We'll hook one up here. And uh, we'll get in. Well, we'll get into the one that I don't have uh, elsewhere. There we go. And so do we have straps? No, we don't have straps on the standard, uh, but we do have lights, of course, and signals. No beacons. We have choice for tip side. Back, left, or right. We'll show that. And that is really it for options. Now... As for uh, the bale trailer, as you can see, you have straps. You can strap down anything you like. Uh, it's pretty basic there. Uh, R1 and straps on or off, and that's really the only options there. Uh, here we have it under the uh, buy anything silo. And uh, let's just take a look at this back while I fill it with rocks. And uh, you can see a definite weight uh, being applied to this trailer uh, the suspension is uh, sagging and the tires are deforming and all that sort of thing all that cool stuff however it does handle it quite well um, but do beware uh, that does carry the full weight of the 45,000 liters of whatever you have in there as you can see the stopping distance is so it's it's taking all that weight and applying it to which is fine because that's what it is it is a really nice little trailer oh uh cover oh it's got a little bleed through on the cover well look at that <laughs> l1 and uh left on a d-pad open and close i guess you just need to leave it open there's no uh there's no color choice for the cover it's a white cover if you choose uh i don't think there was a cover option it just has a cover don't remember a cover option. Pardon me for wasting yours time. No. 
Oh, there we go. If you go with the 45,000 liter capacity, you have cover or no cover. There you go. Sorry about missing that. Anyways, here we're at the sell point. This is sell anything point. And I have the left side tip. That's how it looks. Very quick with the um, unload. I had to stop it right away because we'll go to tip side back, as you can see, and we'll watch that. And uh, actually very quick with the unload there too. It actually unloads fairly quick, so not a whole lot of waiting around for stuff to dump out. There you go, like so. Right, so now, what does that hitch hook up to? Uh, I apologize again, usually I should have these set up, but it takes just a couple of seconds to get these out. One is a ball hitch, one is a pin hitch. And if we back up to the pin hitch, usually most things hook up to a pin hitch. It's the ball hitch that uh, sometimes, oh, my backing reversing skills are terrible. I don't know why they are so bad. So there we go. It hooks up to a pin hitch. Very nice. So thus, uh, with the appropriate dolly, you can uh, you can chain these all together. I'm I'm going to say, oh look at that, ball hitch as well. Very nice. They don't all do that. So there you have it, folks. Uh, you could chain as many of these t as you want together with the appropriate, well, either any of the dollies will work uh, if it. Uh, this is a pin hitch and ball hitch. Any dolly will work. You can chain these or put a different trailer up in behind it or just pull a regular trailer if you want. Anyone, anyone, any trailer will hook up to this. So very nice. Um, a nice versatile little trailer. And of course, uh, you buy the one and you can configure it back and forth if you want to carry pallets and so forth. You just go to a uh, a, um, a repair station or have a repair station on your farm and switch it back and forth. So very handy. And that is the semi-trailer, a sneak little new mod for today. Uh, that is by Pepe978. 9.94 megabytes to download, six slots on console for all platforms. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.